Welcome to the show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra, and together we're KNL Everyday CNA. It's nice to be back with everyone again, and um, we're going to be talking about something very special today. Um, next Tuesday is National Tell a Story Day. It's a day, it's kind of unique in a way to celebrate a story by either reading one or telling one. During the virtual march that NACA held, the National Association of Healthcare Assistants, we heard CNAs from all over the United States tell their stories. We heard them speak on different issues, from being a career CNA, recognition, and why a CNA should be listened to when advocating for the ones they care for. Their experience during this pandemic, and most of all, we heard them be a storyteller. Yeah. A story can begin once upon a time, not in my lifetime, or maybe even a simple statement that is powerful. No matter how big, short, or long, it's a story that should be told. The story of a CNA or a statement of a CNA should be shared. We heard CNAs make a statement. I am a CNA, not just next Tuesday, but with each moment. We should, as CNAs, reach out and grab the opportunity to tell your story, your statement. It's a beautiful one. Share it with the younger generation to our representatives, senators, as well as governors. Anyone who can help us make a change. Mm -hmm. LaShondra and I and the Board of Directors and the NACA staff believe by telling our stories that one day someone will start their story. There once was a CNA. Please join us and listen to the beautiful, powerful statements, I am a CNA. I am a CNA. I am a tissue to white boy a tear. I am a hand to hold and I am a sympathetic ear. I am a CNA. I am a CNA. Their life is my life's work. I am a lifeline, protector, and a voice when no one else can be. I am a CNA. I am a CNA. I sit and hold my residents' hands and listen to their stories of years long past. So if for a brief moment, they can smile and remember when they are sad and lonely. I am a CNA. I'm here to care for and comfort my residents when their families cannot. I am a CNA. I am a CNA. My hands are the ones that hold the hands of residents patients, and family members as their loved one begins their transitional journey. My eyes are the ones that look into my residents' eyes to let them see no fear and that I'm there with them. My ears are the ones that listen to stories of so long ago, and my heart is one that holds memories and love for those that are still with us and those who are not. I am a CNA. I am a CNA. And what makes it best for me as a CNA is to help my uh, patient slash residents uh, feel comforted by, you know, praying with them and listening to, you know, whatever their hurting needs or whatever their happy needs are. And especially when they, I like to know about their background and I always ask about their families. And I, I, I always like to, to make it kind of personal because they're in a place that's impersonal. It's like probably like a institutionalized type area, but I just want to make it feel more like home and more like a family. I listened to your grandma tell me about playing with her brothers and sisters as she reminisces about her, her childhood. I am a CNA. Being a CNA is a career, not just a job. Taking care of your loved one is important to me. I am a CNA. I am a CNA. I am someone the residents can count on to be there for them, for the times that they needed me, for the times that they just want somebody to talk to. For the times that they are happy or sad, for the times that they want to share the joy of having a good day, 
and for the times that he wants to give up when they're having a hard time. I am there for them. I am a staying name.